so with the new rules about visitations with care homes sort of coming in uh, there has been a lot of discussion from families with loved ones in care homes and some people have complained that some care homes just aren't letting you see your loved ones and other people have complained that there are so many roadblocks and difficulties I was listening to a part of Nick Ferrari's uh, show this morning where he was talking through it and there was someone who was complaining that when they take their son who I believe was in his 30s out there has to be a member of staff there to make sure that the parent doesn't hug the son and there were, there were a few other stories there but given that I work in care and a little bit of background I started working in care I've always said when I was 24, the reality is it was a few months before then, but the time just kind of flew by. So realistically, I was 23 when I started working in care. I am now 32 years old. So I've been working in care for over eight years. I've done end of life care, domiciliary care, elderly care, dementia. And for the last few years, I've worked in a home with adults with severe learning disabilities. I know how care homes work. I know how care works and I really want to drill into that in this video because for all the parents and brothers and sisters and everyone else who are complaining about all these rules there's a lot of hate going towards care homes and the people that work in them without actually taking the time to understand the massive risks that people who work in care have taken over the last year so first and foremost why are some care homes not letting you in to see your loved ones? Reason's actually very simple. One of them I'll, I'll get to at the end of this video. But the big one is that we can't eliminate the risk that you're bringing in the virus. Even if you take a lateral flow test, the quick 20 minute test, that's not 100%. It's like 60%. We've, we've taken those tests and they've shown that we were negative unfortunately one of our staff contracted the virus even though the lateral flow test said he was cleared and when he went home and took the other test he was positive one of our lads actually got it we knew he had it he had the symptoms for it but the test was still showing that he was absolutely fine when we could see that that wasn't the case so even if you take one of these quick 20 minute tests, it doesn't mean that you haven't got it, which is a massive risk. Another thing that keeps coming up is people saying that they wanna come in and see their loved ones. It is categorically a mistake to think that you are the only person who cares about your son, daughter, brother, sister, mom, dad, whoever it is. And I say that because we're there too. Care work pays horribly. Most people in care have to work every single day. I'm very lucky. I can do a part-time job so I don't have to do 100 or so hours a week. But before then, I would have maybe three days off a month because I couldn't afford any more time off and there are so many people in care who are in that exact same boat now I'm not saying that to get sympathy I'm saying that so that people might understand how much time we spend with these people with your sons and daughters and mums and dads and aunties and uncles and brothers and sisters we are there every single day it is a mistake to think that we haven't got a relationship with them that we don't care about them because we're the ones getting them out of bed we're the ones who clean them who help them get dressed who help them figure out what they want to do that day who feed them who set up activities that we think they'll enjoy if there's a hurdle that stops them from doing that activity like not being great with loud sounds we're the ones who come up with plans so that the people you care about can still do these things. We absolutely care. We're not just keeping your son alive. We're keeping everyone in that home alive. Because every single day we go in, 
we are constantly building that relationship the difference is we have to remain professional we care just as much about your son your daughter your mum and dad we care just as much as you do because we're with them every single day you couldn't do this job it is impossible to do this job and not care about the people you look after my grievances with care work is never with the people that i've looked after it has always been with the companies that i've had to work for you have to care about these people otherwise you can't do it we get spat at and scratched and stabbed and thrown through windows and hurled at abuse at most people who work in care don't actually make retirement age because of the stress it puts on us. But we still do it because we fucking care. Again, but the only difference is we have to remain professional. And a good way to illustrate this is very simple. If you have a son or a daughter who's in a care home like mine, you turn up one day to see your kid and you feed them a ton of junk food. You legally haven't done anything wrong. Your kid has eaten to the point where they feel sick and they might even be sick because they haven't got the ability to say, no, I'm done, I can't eat anymore. You legally haven't done anything wrong. But if I let that happen, I've just committed negligence, which has a harsher prison sentence than abuse. We care just as much but we have to stay professional. So, feeding into one of my last points. You've got the virus, but you're absolutely fine. You're, you're lucky, you're absolutely fine. You don't even notice it. You come see your kid. Your kid dies as a result. Your grieve and your mourn and so will we just as much and it doesn't matter if it's your son who's 19 or 16 or 10 or your mum who's in her 90s or your dad who just turned 100 we will grieve every bit as much as you will maybe your family members absolutely fine and you pass it on to someone else you won't grieve but we will and another family will and here's that last bit that last bit that so many people love to completely ignore maybe you've got the virus and you're absolutely fine maybe you pass it on to your son who's absolutely fine maybe they pass it on to me and I'm absolutely fine What about if I go home to my partner? And she's not. Or the kids, and one of them aren't. The difference is in that scenario, you've effectively killed someone I care about. Now I wouldn't blame you for it. You're absolutely fine and you will be completely oblivious to it you've just destroyed my family because you instead of listening to the care home decided that you were more important than everyone else in the world we want you to see your family members we want you to see your friends because we know how much it benefits them but if a care home is telling you I'm sorry we can't do visits or if they say yeah we can do visits but there are there there are things that we have to do Stop complaining about it. We're doing the best we fucking can. And if we say you can't see your loved one, it's not us being dickheads. It's us keeping your loved ones alive, the people you don't care about alive, and sadly what no one seems to give a fuck about, keeping the staff and our families alive. Remember that next time you get pissed off at a care worker.